Hello friends, welcome, welcome to our channel. I am Arun Kumar and this is our channel Chemistry Crafters with Ball. Today we will discuss is it possible to prepare liquid detergent with international standards? Is it possible for small scale business owners? Yes, it is possible. We can prepare liquid detergent with international standards. Or in simple words, we can prepare, we can formulate premium quality liquid detergent if we know the technical and ethical guidelines. Today we are going to discuss what are those guidelines. Let us get into the video. For any liquid detergent, essentially there are two components. One is active materials, another one is medium. Generally, medium is water. Surfactants are the key materials in liquid detergent. They are the materials removing dirt and grime from cloths. Here, we will discuss one important point. The dirt and grime may be any material, may be due to any material. But in chemistry point of view, it may be either cationic material or anionic material or neutral material. So, based on these considerations, we have to choose the surfactants. I mean, while choosing the surfactants, the proper composition of the proper blend of anionic surfactants, cationic surfactants, non-ionic surfactants and amputatic surfactants should be chosen. Next, co-surfactants. Co-surfactants will improve the overall washing performance and also will reduce the cost. The combined performance of surfactants and co-surfactant will be the superior. Builders. In washing process, it is equally important to the tough surfactants. Surfactants will remove the dirt and grime from the fabrics. Builders will facilitate the surfactants to do its role. We will try to understand this particular point. Generally, during the washing process, the water what we are using is hot water. I mean salt water. This hardness causing ions will disturb the surfactants, will interact with surfactants, will reduce the washing performance of the surfactants. So, when we are adding the builders, builders will convert hot water into soft water and they will allow the surfactants to do its role perfectly. Next, anti-soil redeposit agents. This is not common material in most of the liquid detergents, commercial grade liquid detergents, but it is very essential unavoidable material in case of premium quality liquid detergent. Now we will try to understand the role of anti-soil redeposit agents. During the washing process, after the removal of dirt from cloths, the rinse water is more or less dirty water, brown color liquid. So there is possibility for once again redeposition of these soil particles, dirt particles over the surface of the fabrics. So by adding this material, generally these are all polymers, by adding these materials, they will form a thin coating over the soil particles and also over the structure of the fabrics. So, there is no possibility for redeposition of dirt once again to the fabrics. It will be washed away during the washing process, rinsing process. And also, partially, it will play the role of fixative. I mean, it will improve the perfume smell over the fabrics. But the main point is partially, not completely fully. Enzymes are another important and essential materials in case of premium quality liquid detergents. Surfactants will remove the dirt and grime. Surfactants will not remove the stains. So, to remove the stains, even the tough stains, we need enzymes. Enzymes are 
very gentle material without causing harm to fabrics it will remove the toughest stains in gentle manner so it is the worldwide accepted method for removal of tough stains on fabrics but the problem is it is costly and not available in everywhere next optical brighteners optical brighteners are not surfactants not cleaning materials not builders but even though they are important they will improve the physical appearance of the washed cloths they will make color cloths more brighter and white cloths more whiter next perfumes perfumes are not contributing to the washing process but even though this is very important material generally all the customers will judge the performance of the liquid detergents only by means of the perfume in case of perfumes many brands many dilutions many concentrations many flavors are available a good perfume is double plus point for liquid detergent and a bad perfume is double minus point for liquid detergent color always should be either blue or a detergent violet or in between these two colors this color is globally accepted and being followed for liquid detergent i have stated the reason in color theory already we have posted a video regarding color theory finally but most importantly preservatives and antioxidants preservatives are compulsory materials to extend the shelf life of the product if you want to sell the product commercially then preservative is unavoidable material we can consider to include other active materials in liquid detergent if necessary it is depends upon the formula where we are going to use that is uh, dye transfer inhibitors fabric conditioners soil suspending agents foaming or anti foaming agents thickening materials etc if we are formulating premium quality liquid detergent then we should avoid some materials some of them are phosphates are not good for our environment even though they are cheap and effective material and cdea cocomide diethanol amide some reports are suggesting that it is a possible carcinogen and formalin this is also carcinogen vinegar we can use vinegar in laundry process but not in liquid detergent bleaching agents heavy dyes for color heavy perfumes and excessive preservative we can use the preservatives but prescribed preservative within the prescribed quantity not excess quantity the color of the liquid detergent should be either blue or violet or in between these two colors and also it should be clear and transparent of course this is not mandatory in case of uh, aerial it is not a transparent and ph for premium quality liquid detergent the ph should be 7 to 8 this is good for our hands good for our environment good for the washing machine but strictly not less than 7 if ph is less than 7 means that will drastically reduce the washing performance of the liquid detergent the thickness should be medium not like gel or not very thin in liquid detergent with medium thickness we can achieve maximum washing performance for the purpose of comparison of thickness anyone can take surfexcel as reference standard finally the perfume smell it should be appealing smell and pleasant aroma before launching the liquid detergent for commercial purpose it is advisable to check all these quality parameters complete chemical analysis washing performance test in different fabrics washing performance test in different water i mean water with various hardness wear test it is to find whether is there any itchings due to liquid detergent for women or babies with sensitive skins 
and uh, some more parameters like sets level rinsing and residue tests gentleness on fabrics are some of them based on these guidelines we have developed the formula for premium quality liquid detergent as per the formula we have prepared this liquid detergent already we have posted a complete making video for rin equivalent liquid detergent here more or less it is same procedure materials also 60 to 70 percent same so to reduce the duration of video length i have cut the making video here we have taken surfexcel as reference standard we did not copy the formula of surfexcel even we don't know the surfexcel it is a trade secret they won't reveal it just we have taken the surfexcel as reference standard in terms of its physical appearance color and viscosity that's all and also we will take aerial just for comparison not as a reference standard this is aerial liquid detergent it is not clear and transparent this is surfexcel of course clear and transparent this is our liquid detergent it is also clear and transparent i have added little excess color so it is little dark in color when comparing with surfexcel otherwise it is transparent now let us check the ph the ph of aerial is within 7 to 8 okay it is ph of surfexcel it is also more or less equal and this is ph of our liquid detergent it is also within the range of 7 to 8 thank you friends